Welcome to We Are Reading Virtual Storytime for the week of December 5th, 2021, Part 1. This week's theme is hockey. Lucy Tries Hockey, written by Lisa Bowes, illustrated by James Hearn. A great day to skate. The place is the pond. Everyone is here. It's a fun way to bond. Lucy loves the sport. She'll glide and be free. Outside with her friends, the best place to be. Look, they're playing hockey. May I try that too? Of course, say her parents. We support what you do. That night, Lucy preps for the big day ahead. Her gear lies in wait, her helmet bright red. Her dad meets the coach, her mom signs her in. This is intro to hockey and it's time to begin. Let's skate a few laps, the warm up is key. Speed up, hop the lines, try touching your knees. Time to fall forward. That's right, be prepared. Heads up, hands out. No need to be scared. Stick handling is next. Lucy, it's your turn. Go slow, take your time. That's the best way to learn. Now let's shoot the puck. We do this a lot. Draw back, follow through. It's a forehand wrist shot. Lucy is focused. She tries not to miss. Like with many sports, you just need practice. Lucy shoots on goal. Will the puck go in? It slides through the crease. I did it, she grins. For our final drill, it's a game you all know. An obstacle race. Get ready. Get set, go! Zigzag around the cones, now circle the net. Step over the sticks, put your skills to the test. Tweet! The session is over, Lucy's friends are keen. Let's play every week and form our own team. Hockey is a great game, and you can see why. A winter team sport that's so fun to try. The end. Okay, so today we're gonna paint with ice. Um, so in your craft to go kit, you'll have a piece of watercolor paper. Put that aside. Um, and you'll have three craft sticks. Um, those are to be handles on your ice and the first thing we need to do before we can paint with ice is make the ice So what I'm going to do is I'm making primary colors, which we all know are red yellow and blue and I'm just putting a little bit of water in here because I Only need three for myself. You can make as many and as many colors as you want um, But what you'll need is water um, little Dixie cups are good to mix the colors in. You'll need um, food coloring. Um, you'll need an ice cube tray. And then you can also use a piece of foil or plastic wrap to kind of get these to stand up a bit. We'll try it. I haven't had much luck in the past, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm making this one yellow put like 10 drops in it, it doesn't matter. Um, you make it as dark as you want. This one looks orange even though it's um, yellow. We know that about food coloring, um, but when it paints on the paper, it'll paint yellow. Um, this one I'm doing blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, that's not an exact that's not necessarily what you'll need. It depends on how light or how dark you want your ice to paint. And I'm doing red, I'm gonna do 10 on that too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm gonna stir 
for that. Okay. So I'm just going to put these down over here, not overlapping. I don't want the colors to mix yet. See how that's yellow, even though it looks orange. So I'm going to pour them into an ice cube compartment. It might be a little high. I'm going to space them out because I don't want them to mix if I'm doing them too high. That's two. three. Now if you have more like I do, you can make another one. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by putting a foil over top. Um, I never ever have luck with um, clear plastic wrap, so I'm not even trying. Um, The only thing is, when you don't have clear plastic wrap, it's hard to tell where your colors are. So this one's here. I'm gonna get this pen and put a little hole in it. And then stick that in there. See how it stands up better? My red one's right here. So I'm gonna put a little hole in it. And stick the red one in. Stands up better than it would if you just had it down. And I know my yellow is on the end. I'm gonna stick that in there. So the next step is to go freeze it. And um, I'm not sure how long it'll take to freeze. I'm doing this on a Friday, so it'll be frozen by Monday when I do the rest of the video. Um, but it shouldn't take more than a few hours to freeze, really. Um, I know that could be a science project for you. You can time how long it takes to turn from liquid to solid. And you could even do a clear one to see if the food coloring makes a difference in how quickly it freezes. So that's just an idea for you older guys. Um, for you younger guys, you're just gonna have to be patient and wait out until these are frozen. Okay. Okay, so now we can see they're in the freezer. They're a little wonky, but you know, that's not too bad. i slide this drawer back in. So there they are in the freezer. And we'll see them on Monday. I just took these out of the um, freezer. So let's go ahead and take the foil off. You can see I did put them a little high. Some of them ran over, which is why I separated them like this. But here's our yellow that looks orange. Here is our red. And here is our blue. So I'm just gonna let these sit for a couple minutes. Let them start to get melty. You can see I touched the blue and it's already on my fingers. Same with the red. Um, we'll let them get a little melty and then we'll start to paint with them. All right, so these are starting to get a little melty. So we're going to take our watercolor paper that came in our craft to go kit and we're just going to paint. So look at that. I'll even fill that in. And the longer these are out, the more they're going to melt and for you. Purple doesn't look very purple, it looks kind of brownish. But um, I was trying to overlap the colors to make you can see the green with the red or the blue and the yellow. And a little bit of purple in there, but it's kind of brownish. But you can draw whatever you want and just make swirlies or shapes. It's 
food, I would suggest putting more red in the red because this looks rather orange. The yellow turned out great. The blue is very blue. So that's what it looks like. So you can make your own watercolor paints out of food coloring water and turn them into ice. And you can get a really cool picture of it. And you can mix the food colorings together before you do um, freeze it to make all the colors of the rainbow. So that's cool too.